Expansion of the NAFA Geothermal Power Station is a massive project for consumer-owned top energy. It requires numerous resource consents and a $180 million investment. As 100% consumer-owned, Top Energy is focused on providing a reliable and affordable supply of electricity to its consumers. This supply needs to meet new technologies in the future and changing consumer demands. While we have many natural advantages in the far north, like the geothermal features at NAFA, the network supplies a mostly rural customer base with just one high voltage line connecting us to the rest of the New Zealand network. We've engaged a range of local and international experts to complete this project for us. We've got United Civil from Whangarei to do the earthworks, Iceland Drilling to drill the geothermal wells, and Ormat from Israel who built the last two power stations for us and will complete this one too. This new power generator will be commissioned in late 2020. At that time it will provide 90% of the peak demand for electricity in the far north, with excess power flowing south. That compares to just 3% flowing south at the moment. As you can see, the project involves some significant earthworks. We've opened up nearly 36 hectares of land to make room for the power station platform, the well sites and the pipeline routes between the two. To give you an idea of scale, if you took an area the size of a football field and put a 38 storey building on top of it, that's the amount of soil we've been moving on this project. Also another interesting fact about the project is that we had to build quite a number of ponds to manage storm water and support the drilling operation. Those ponds alone have a volume of 30 Olympic swimming pools. And it's a massive project. The power station required new wells to be drilled into the geothermal reservoir. We drilled three production wells to bring the hot fluid out of the ground and then three injection wells to put the cool fluid back into the ground. Each well took about 35 to 45 days to drill on a 24-7 basis. The wells weren't drilled directly vertically. We put a bend in each one to try to access as wide an area of the reservoir as possible. A key parameter for the project is finding enough hot geothermal fluid to run the power station. We do this by testing each individual well after it's been drilled. We tested the production wells in September and October 2018. We vented the geothermal fluid through a silencer, which produced a huge cloud of steam. It's a great show for the people observing the operation. The hot fluid that came out of the ground was then captured in ponds and re-injected back into the ground. Earthworks on the project will be largely complete by mid-2019, after which construction of the power station and transmission line to Kaiko will commence. A few months later we'll start work on the pipelines between the well platforms and the power station. All going well will be fully operational by the end of 2020. This is the final stage of a 20 year programme of works across the Top Energy Network, which is aimed at future proofing and removing the reliance on the national grid. People in the far north want a cheaper, more reliable energy source, and that's what we plan to deliver. Mm -hmm.